Hey guys, it's David and welcome to my new series on Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. As you can see, I'm going to be Soon Sir's Force in the Rival Warlord scenario. So, I've got my settings here. Oh. Oops, wanted that. Just fixing a few settings here. What's like that? Yes. That's so good. Right. Let's begin. Oh, hang on. Let's begin. It was the year 194. The pendulum of tension between rival warlords had begun to swing. Manipulative Dong Zhuo became infatuated with the beautiful Diao Chan and was later assassinated by Lu Bu. Lu Bu was eventually successful in seizing Chang An. However, he succumbed to Li Jue and his men and was forced to divert to the central plains. Pursued from the rear, Cao Cao met Lu Bu at Yang province, where the two heroes squared off against one another. Meanwhile, in Jiangdong, the young Sun Tzu was preparing to leave for battle with his sworn brother, Zhou Yu. He was hoping to fulfill the greatest wish of his late father, Sun Jin, by taking control of China for himself. The signs of impending battle began to spread across the land. So there, a bit of backstory for those of you who did not know what was going on. I'm gonna do voices for storyline events. No, I won't. I'll, I'll, no, I will. I've achieved nothing since my father, the Tiger of Zhongdong, died. How much longer will I continue to be used by you, Ansher? Enough! I refuse. I am Sun Tzu, progeny of Sun Jin, the Tiger of Zhongdong. Please do not blame yourself so harshly. Ah, it's you. I thought I was alone. But it is good to see such spirit in you. It encourages me to dare proffer a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes, you should borrow soldiers from Yuan Chu and raise an army. Yuan Chu has ambitions to be emperor. If you tell him that you will give him the seal, he will gladly oblige. Hmm, use the imperial seal as a pawn to win my independence? Now would be the time to act. I will do it. We will borrow troops from Yuan Chu. It's do or die. Yeah. That. <laughs> when Yuan Shi first heard of Sun Tzu's desire to become independent, he was hesitant, but seeing the Imperial Seal soon changed his mind. In order to have it, he agreed to support Sun Tzu. Thus did Sun Tzu begin a journey along a new road. Everything went to plan. Now there was nothing holding me back. We can only go forward now. A message. Sun Tzu has come seeking a meeting. Ah, Sun Sir. Greeting, Zhou Yu. I've been waiting for this moment. Everything is in place. I'm ready to move out. Our time has come. We shall march on Zhongdong, and then we shall take the world! And so, in the year 19 194, Sun Sir, the heir to the tiger of Zhongdong, Sun Jin, marched out with his small army. Among the rival warlords, there was no one who could stop him from forging a new era. Now, the final showdown for Sun Sir and Zhu Yu would begin. We've got that strategist. I'm not going to read this, this isn't storyline. Rivals, Alliance, uh, just some basic info. You have to pay officers. And then the last force remaining wins. I know the ranks how like strategists are. Oh, yeah. Just let you see my strategist there. So I'm going to start with some inspections and drills just to 
boost the repute of the city. Not repute, but yeah, but I don't know. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a few months in, just do the basic setup, and then maybe I probably won't today, but at some point I will move out, Song Chan. Oh yes, you could. Ah, oh, this we got debating within a few minutes here, almost straight after starting. But you might have seen the intelligence gap. This this should be an easy victory. It might be an instant kill, insta kill. Let's see. Nope, we're gonna have that actually. That's a rubbish start. What? Come on, 84 intelligence, and that's all you could think. It's a waste of a oh. Well done. Sung Chan can now be called an idiot. <laughs> no offense, Sung Chan. But you know. You used the settle card when I had nothing. I'm gonna risk it. Is he Ah Whoa my word I did not expect him to do that. Ah Yes, that that is a very hard part of governing the Zhang Zhao. Enough things. We'll go for time two. Not you, mate. <laughs> Not in hand joking. I don't know much about Sung Chan. To be honest. Yeah, I said this would be an easy win. Ah, let's just finish him off here. Let's try and kill him. But you know. Ah, come on. Are you serious? What are you giving me? There we go, this, this should do it. What is it now? Oh my gosh, it's actually. Uh, yeah, this, this will win it. And he gets mad. It's gonna be too late for regrets. Now I'll use frenzy. He'll calm down. I'll be angry, and then this is what happens when I try this. I just oh, because I'm timid. I'd attack him with all my cards that are in my hand individually. Uh, yeah, that's what this is. This is a fury meter. If you didn't know, so, so oh, I'm gonna have mercy because he joined me quickly. Uh, yeah, this is a psych meter that goes down when you get hit. This is a fewer meter when it goes up. You get different things. So timid, you'll attack with all your cards. Reckless deals a chunk of damage. Bold, you become invincible and calm. You get more attack power. And you can use guiles. And you can renew every turn just once. Not not you can infinitely renew until you get like bellow. There we go. Song Chan. Because I had mercy, I think he recovers quicker. Uh, um, don't harm me on that. Ah, oh, yes. Lusu. Hang on. Just did it my rank slightly. Lusu is a beast. Oh, that wasn't what I did. I said to swap him. There we go. And someone good. Ah! Oh. I, sh I hope she's joining her. Spoiler alert, they get married. <laughs> Not yet, it'll, it'll come up. Y you probably knew that by now. There we go. Right, I'm probably going to start developing now. Because I've left the ages. So I'm going to put a market there. No, not a market, a mint, sorry. Granary there. Put no there we've got enough moves. <laughs> we have reached the end of the month, or the end of the season even. Share at the end of the month, you gain money. Every month, you gain some money. This new revenue. 
and at the end of each se well the well the beginning of each month and the beginning of each season you get more food it's from your markets and farms respectively and it's also based partially on order I'll do some more building I think some gonna build a farm here oh not a barracks know what I'm doing there Yeah, you don't. Nah, you, you're not gonna do that, Song Chan. <laughs> Bit more inspections. I don't think I'll have much to do now. inspect until something else happens hmm oh, let me see if they want to search for no employee officer is bound to be yeah, one joys you can see that's alright. Doesn't have a skill. We'll see. It's got decent politics, you might be useful at the worst. There we go. Ho oh, ho, look at all those finished projects. So we'll develop a market here. The farm there. Another market over here. And another farm there. There we go. I'm going to build a, another market and I'm going to build some military facilities and then we'll uh, prepare to attack. So, I don't know when this video will end in terms of in-game time, but I'll probably, I'll, I'll leave the OBL. I'll be more realistic and uh, attack the Zhongdong area first. Yang province. That's it. Nothing to do. There we go. Okay, apparently, put my mouse there isn't. I basically, can't scroll up. Just gonna see if there's anything to develop. A market, yes, that's good. Ooh, barracks. Let's go military on them. Almost a lot. I'm just gonna do something. Oh. Right then. So we develop a couple more things. We've got stables to build. Unlike my buildings taking excess of 40 days, if it does, I'll probably end up not building it. Whoops. Oh, who needs to. Ah, of course. It's quite a way off. There we go. Oh. There. Just 
just to find some new officers. Come Lucy. Ah! She's got to join. That's good. Sunyu. Ah! Oh. Sunyu Jotai. I theoretically have an advantage. But you know. And more attack power, but you know. You're gonna have, both have three cards and I'll get a bad draw I bet. So I usually do when I have th three cards versus three cards. Stop with ignore. Haha, <laughs> where's that guy? Ah, oh, it's reckless. No. Not good. Bold's my least favourite to go against. Then reckless. And timid. Oh, actually, it depends. If they've got a high intelligence and they've got a lot of cards, then timid isn't good, but. Oh dear. He actually beat me there. Oh, great. Brilliant. <laughs> so you're both lower, less than, is it 50 or less, or less than 50? Not 100% sure, they actually say different things in that case. They said that something about logic being important. See, I'm saying smart man stuff. Yeah, see. As proven now, Jotai does not understand logic. Haha. Oh god. Ah, for a minute, I panicked over that guile. Let's reiterate your point there, and you. Interesting. It's going to settle me down. Someone's really. Oh, oh, right, not good. Uh, I've got a fact too. He's gonna get angry and he's gonna rage at me. He's gonna rage so hard. We gotta get to see someone angry. A reckless person angry. Yeah, that's it basically. Oh, he's got a tough fact to look after a new. Come on, fingers crossed, people. Buy some time. Interesting. Uh oh. Spear risk taker. Yes. He had a fact one. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Yes! That was more exciting than the last one. But we won, so yeah. So I'm just gonna go, so I uh, start setting up my attacking, f my invading force. For, oh. And then Miller. I know, we'll see how far I can get in the next five or so minutes. got back so I'm going to start recruiting troops now. Recruiting troops reduces order and will. So, ah, we got Chong Pu fit. Not fit. To, um, able to use. Chong Pu has the uh, fame skill, which means when recruiting, you recruit more, uh, more soldiers, which is nice. Get some more stuff there. What's my revenue and harvest like anyway? Should be quite high revenue. It's like a hundred per market or something like that. That's not right. Yes, yes. So we'll recruit some more. Basically, order when it gets low. Your um, I 
can't remember what happens. You'll get bandits if it drops below 70 for too long, and your will is used to do tactics in battle. Just gonna get around 40,000 troops, I think. Just so we can march out with about 30,000 and still have some to defend with in case Liu Biao wants to attack. The next few turns just be me doing this, but we'll make it through. I think we've started in 80,000, so we're nearly halfway there. So, yeah. How do you think I'm doing so far? If you, oh, I won't be invading anywhere for this episode, so if you'd rather see me follow a different path in history, yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm going to start. No. Should I start out for thing? I probably won't. Um, yeah. got some troop movement going on already if you see here Gongsun Zan's marching out towards uh, Gong is it Gongsun Du? we'll say it's Gongsun Du, it's close enough someone from that family pretty sure it's still Gongsun Du so we're getting 4,000 soldiers so much one more, yeah one more turn of recruiting then we'll just build up our weaponry I suppose about that, just had some disk space issues there. Just do a of things to this. Oh no, I just got outfit. That was it. No, that's... No, we'll search. No, we won't. We, we... We'll advance the next turn. Well, advance to the new year, then stop. So, we'll build some towers first because they're more useful. You can, oops, fight enemies with them. Oops. So, I get 6,000 for each dinghy. Uh, you know what they're called? Weapon, armament, that's it. 6,000 for each armament. That's what I'll look to get. So there we go, that will be the end of this video I think, so if you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Wait. Oh! That's a good place to end it then. We're about to be invaded. Let's leave it on a cliffhanger then, yeah, so, as I said before, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.